Yes, a level one, because Claude has chosen his second path already. For those wondering, oh, I thought he was on level five. Uh, Claude has been a member of Toastmasters since 2010 and is currently our VP of Public Relations. He enjoys promoting our club and serving District 61 while taking an active role in our weekly meetings and continuing his Toastmasters journey. Today, Claude is presenting his icebreaker speech, the first speech from his second path, Presentation Mastery. His goal is just to introduce himself to the club for those of us who don't already know him. Uh, for our timer, his speech will be between four and six minutes. So please help me welcome Claude Racine, possibly my best year. Possibly my best year, Claude Racine. Thank you so much, Andrew. It's an odd thing to say right now that it's possibly my best year. After all, we are in a pandemic time. Uh, friends and families are really affected by it. Some people, many people are sick and some even die, sadly enough. And so this is my reality and this is our reality. But I believe that we must stay strong. We have no choice, really. Despite all of this, though, I believe that in this time of pandemic, there are a ton of opportunities in hiding. And so I use this time for myself to focus on things that really matter to me. Today, I'd like to talk to you about what's going on in my life and for you to get to know me a little bit better. I'd like to share with you what's important to me and why this could possibly be my best year ever. So as I said, we live in a pandemic, we are confined and isolated in, in many ways, but I have to admit though that for me, the pandemic has allowed me to focus on things and things that really matter to me. It's allowed me for one thing to stop procrastinating and to get to work. And it's a perfect time for that for me. While I comply like the rest of us with the protocols, I stay at home, I believe it helps to save life, I do things. I do things because I always need goals in my life. That's the type of person I am. I just am like that. To progress, I need to do that. To work towards something tangible, something that's an accomplishment, that feels like an accomplishment of some sort. I find that very fulfilling for me. So today I'd like to share with you two important milestones, two important journeys, if you will, of mine. My first one, as you may, you may guess, is my Toastmasters journey. I really mean to highlight that part of my life because I really love Toastmasters. I could give you a million reasons for why I love Toastmasters. You know, in all the negativity, the negativity that's around us, Toastmasters is bringing positive, positivity in my life. What I like about Toastmasters is the, I like the program, I like the learning opportunities, I like the people I meet. I like the growth that I see in me and as well in others, and overall how it's changing my life for the better. I call it my learning and growing journey. Honestly, it allows me to be a better version of myself. I really believe that when I say that. Preparing, planning, working on specific projects helps me tell my story and elevate my discourse. But my work is cut out for me. And I have a lot of work to do. You see, I want to become a DTM. I would love to reach the distinguished toast master level. But to do that, there's a lot of work ahead of me. I have to complete two full paths. I have to serve as a club officer for 12 months. Check for that one. I have to serve a one-year term as district officer. I'm sort of nibbling at it as we speak. I have to serve as a club mentor as well. And overall, I have to complete the final DTM project. That's the big one. It's a longer term that involves more communication and more leadership. So there's a lot of work, but the potential growth for me from a personal level is really amazing. And I'm really excited about it and I'm motivated to continue my journey and reach my goal. So that's my first journey. My minimalism journey is the second one. I am a minimalist. 
and I practice minimalism. Minimalism to me allows me to live better. Minimalism is all about living with less, so less financial burdens, less debts and less expenses, less possessions overall, and therefore more decluttering and more clarity, more happiness, if you will. In my case, that's certainly what it does to me. It's a simpler life, and it allows me to focus on what's important to me. It allows me also, by having a simpler life, to have better relationships and focus on people, not on things. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoy, you know, a nice, clean, crisp environment, but I stay focused and, on, and determined on what's important to me. So I declutter stuff, and I only keep what's important to me. It allows me to enjoy my home. It allows me to have a clear mind at work. It really does, and I'm seeing the difference every day. And it allows me to focus on people and give more of me to the people around me, more of me and my time. With less stuff in my life, I get more experiences with people, not with things. As I get older, trust me, I do find that that's really what matters to me. So the pandemic gives me an opportunity to really be introspective, to focus on what matters to me. But suffice it to say that with these two pillars in my life, Toastmasters and minimalism, I really believe that this will be my best year ever because I still think that a life with purpose is a happy life. And finally, I really wish that on each and every one of you. Back to you, Mr. Chair. Claude, Claude. And I would like to ask uh, Rebecca to say that two minutes.